Hey guys, uh, today we are going to do a little bit of a tutorial. I spent the last year recording a song every single week with my drums, with my setup, and I think I've gotten a pretty decent sound. This is hopefully going to be a little bit more of a relatable video. It's not going to be something you know meant for people who are deep into production. This is going to be meant for you who are kind of just getting started. I'm hopefully going to talk um, in ways that you can understand. And uh, yeah, so check it out. We're going to talk about three things today. The first is source. Um, and that is not only your drums and how they're tuned, how they sound, but also how you play them. Of course, the first thing is to listen to them, see how they sound acoustically. I'm not going to go over that too much here. Um, maybe I'll, I'll put a link in the description of some videos that'll show you a little bit of a good idea how to tune your drums. One of the most common things I think happen is that the snare has a ring to it. It says like this, ding! And if you keep that in, it's going to be a lot harder as you move on to get that out. So. What I like to do to get rid of the ring in the snare drum, and this is a little bit of a trick. Fast tips! I take the two lugs closest to me, and I tune them down quite a bit. So the rest of the snare is tuned pretty tight, and that gets rid of that fundamental note, that, that ring, but it also makes the snare sound a little bit deeper, a little bit fuller. So the next thing that's really important, I think this is maybe the most important thing I'm gonna say to you today, if you're a drummer, hit your drums really hard, and hit your cymbals a little bit less hard. Um, that's going to make your mix overall sound good because the truth is all of the microphones on the kit will pick up the cymbals just fine even if you're hitting them softly. The snare drum especially will suffer. The sound of the snare will suffer if you're slamming the cymbals and hitting the snare and hitting the rest of the drums not as hard. It's, it's one of those things that takes time to train yourself. Um, but trust me, you will like the way your drums sound a lot more if you hit the drums hard and the cymbals soft. Okay, uh, the next thing is the microphones. So I have a six microphone setup. A little trick here, um, I've been told by a number of different people, is that if you put your two microphones, your two overhead microphones, same exact distance from the snare drum, um, it'll make everything just kind of sound a little bit better. And then it's close miking or miking right next to each of the individual drums. All of the individual drums that I have mics on, I generally have roughly the same pattern of how I mic them. I put the microphone really close to the edge of the drum and then I point it toward the center of the drum. Especially on the snare, it's about you know two fingers away from the snare and facing toward the center right on the edge of that rim. And then the kick drum microphone. Uh, so if you have a hole, if you have a port in your kick drum, uh, I like to put the kick drum microphone in a couple of inches and facing toward the center where the beater hits on the other side of the kick drum. Um, that gives the, the right amount of snap and the right amount of low end. The further out from the kick drum that you pull the microphone, the more low end you're gonna get, and the closer in, the more high end or snap that you're gonna get from the kick drum. So I'm gonna go ahead and start playing, and then we're gonna start messing with the mixing side of things. Okay, now let's talk about mixing. So I don't have my speakers here, so give me one second. Kidding. Uh, I actually don't use speakers. So these are my studio headphone monitors and they're great. I don't use them either. This is actually what I use. And I know these better than anything else because I listen to them all the time. Do I suggest you go out and buy some Apple earbuds to mix on? No. It's really important that you know what you're listening on. Have a good week. We'll see you next time.